It's been a little while since we checked out a power box, so I thought I'd bring you this. This is the All Powers R600. It's gonna be like a lot of our other power generators we've checked out. It's gonna have a great cycle life. This thing's gonna last you a super long time. It's gonna be recharged 3,500 plus times, still have 80% of its health left. Now, one of the coolest features to this one that I wanted to show you guys is the app controllability. It can sense when the power goes out and it automatically kicks in to keep whatever you're doing running without an interruption. Starting out with the packaging, this is the nice rigid foam. Now I love this stuff for packaging, but it's not great for recycling. A lot of my local places will not take it when I try to recycle. We have our nice little warranty card, a little bit of an owner's manual. Now you can see here from this kind of neat little print here, they make a lot of different power boxes. I mean, a lot. I was going through their site. Actually, the R600 is one of the smallest ones they make. Obviously being smaller though, it's gonna be the most portable, easy to move around, stuff like that. Quite a bit of an owner's manual here. Here's your warranty card. It's got a little QR code to visit their Facebook. Next up, we have ourselves a little All Powers bag. I imagine this is gonna have our charging cables in it. Look at that, charging cable. It is a pretty simple computer cable, very standard. Kind of surprising they would put this cable in this bag. Maybe they just wanted to include the bag. A uh, little bit of an odd packaging standpoint on that. Looks like that's about all we have in the box. now. Useful idea though, just about every other one I've gotten, uh, power box, charger box, whatever, they all come with a big DC inverter. So on this one here, you'll notice, simple power cable. That's because right here on the side, you have the charging built right into the system. This is also where you're gonna have your solar or car input, 12 to 60 volt, 8.8 .8 amp max. So this thing's gonna charge pretty quick. Coming around to the top here, we have ourselves a wireless charger up top. It's gonna be 15 watt, nothing crazy fast, but useful. And then of course, now we get to the uh, meat and potatoes of the unit, if you will. You have two grounded AC Pierce sine wave outputs, two USB type C. Now these are 100 watt. We will be testing that because if those are 100 watt alone, a decent 100 watt charger is gonna run you 50 to $100 on its own without battery. So speaking of deals, well, let's get into the deals. This unit here comes in at 209 bucks on Amazon and in their own website. Now for 319, you can get it with a 100 watt solar panel. Now we're gonna be testing that panel out. That's why I made sure this thing is not fully charged. So right now, we're at 69%. All right, so taking a look at the top, let's get a close look at this screen here. All right, so the screen here, not sure how well you can see it, but in person, the screen, looks great it's very clear it has your input your output then it has approximate amount of days left of power usage now this is going to adjust based on what you're using currently we have nothing put in so it looks like it's default it's just going to kind of sit at two days very typical to a lot of these other units you have a different output here for each side you turn them on depending on when you need them now these are going to have an inverter that kicks in the pure sine wave so if that's on you can hear it click on the inside that's going to start using a little bit of power my main focus on this one that I think is really cool is the UPC backup. So I really want to check that out, get into it. But first, let's check out their version of a 100 watt solar panel. So we've seen a lot of these solar panels in the past. Not a lot really differs from them. One of the first things I noticed, this one has some built-in legs. Very much appreciated. It's got kind of a cool aesthetic and it's very thin. So let's see what all it comes with back here. I have not opened this up. I have not checked this out yet. All right, so now this is where we can finally use this little bag that was holding our power cable. APSP027-NEW, it's got itself a little user manual here. Guessing this right here is a little link that's gonna lead you right to the All Power Store on Amazon. I'll throw some links down below. All right, so quality wise, this one definitely feels a little bit nicer than a lot of the ones we've checked out in the past. But right off the bat, I noticed there is no using this without a power bank. A lot of the other solar panels we have do have a little bit of a USB converter built into them, which is kind of nice. But in all fairness, if you're carrying around something this big, you're probably gonna keep a box with it. It has three different DC outputs right here. They all adapt to their connectors here. And of course, you can see the different connectors here on the side. Now, these right here are the connectors that show you one's positive, one's negative. So these two right here are gonna connect into the cables here. And this single connector here is gonna go into the box. So right there's your adapter to the box. Now between the two cables, you're gonna have quite a bit of length there. And then right here is your secondary connector that you're gonna use for the DC output. This is going to allow you to plug in and charge other power boxes, other power units, other systems. Kind of a nice aspect to a panel like this 
is it's really going to be quite universal. It's going to kind of allow you to hit quite a few things. So we don't have the world's sunniest day today. So I want to connect in this one right here. I want to take this outside and I want to see how fast it charges, see how many watts we're actually getting. Obviously a bright sunny day would be better, but let's go ahead and get this connected and go check it out. Quite a bit of wind out here too today, so that's nice for testing stability. It doesn't appear to be going anywhere. Considering it is pretty cloudy out right now, we have no direct sun, and we're still pulling in 16 watts. This took me all of about 20 seconds to connect. Now, as the clouds roll through, I'm gonna keep an eye on the amount of power we're actually bringing in. Looks like we're bringing in about 22 watts right now. Again, let's keep in mind, the sun is, uh, is right about there. Oh, in direct sunlight, we are spiking over 100 watts. Check that out. As you can see, the sun is full out now, and we're easily hitting over 100 watts. So what do you guys think about this one? I mean, the solar panel is definitely outperforming. Okay, just got done troubleshooting for a little bit. Came back inside, solar panel, stellar, honestly. Solar panel, absolutely, 100% worth the add-on. You take that thing camping with you, you're not running out of juice, as long as you have a clear day obviously. Now, I've been trying to connect on my phone for about 30 minutes now. The instruction manual, all powers on this, you guys, you gotta, you gotta step it up. This, this actually kind of irks me a bit here. In order to get it to connect to Bluetooth, if we look right here, you can see I finally have it showing up. Before, it just kept telling me, cannot show up, cannot show up, cannot show up, nothing's there. Wouldn't show in the box. You have to push and hold the little tiny DC power output button Right here, you have to hold it until you hear a beep. Then it'll show up. The instruction manual, it just says make sure the box and your Bluetooth are turned on. So I don't like that. Not cool. That should be an easy fix for these guys. But now that it's working, let's check out the app. So connecting to the app, pretty simply, we can see right here, 84% battery health. <laughs> Remaining time is gonna be kind of an odd estimate because I'm not really using it to power anything. Right now it's just showing a 32 watt output and that is just to my one light. Now that is the white light you can see behind me. Let me change the color on it. All right, I switched it to teal. I wanna make it a little bit brighter because we're gonna test out the UPC function. So again, right now, I love what you can see on the app. I like that. Uh, let's check out the DC input right here. Plug it in. Ultra fast charging, good sign. Although weirdly enough, it dropped down to 18 watts of output. There it goes, now it's updating. Keep in mind, this is a Bluetooth connection. This is not a Wi-Fi connection or anything like that. Some of their higher end units do use Wi-Fi, which is kind of nice. So they'll have a built-in type of router. So right now it shows we're using 41 watts total output. We have the option to turn on the LED light here. So, you know, you're laying in your tent, your camper, your bed, whatever. That's kind of a cool function. Boom, click it on. Nice little smart light, if you will. So the app isn't super in depth. There's not a lot going on, but I feel it's all you really need for a power box, considering most of these other ones don't have any kind of app at all. I really like that feature. Now, let's go ahead and test out the UPC function. That's an uninterrupted power supply type system. So my main thought for this is one, if you're an editor working on a computer, stuff like that, as long as this is within the wattage range, you're in the middle of editing a video. You cut out power, dang, down goes your computer. You didn't save in time. Well, you have something like this hooked up in line down goes your power, you're still going. So watch this light back here. I'm gonna unplug this cable right here and we'll make sure that it doesn't interrupt at all. Didn't interrupt, no hiccups, phone still charging, no difference. And now it currently shows remaining time of current power usage, four hours, 19 minutes. That's considering I have this light behind me running, which is a pretty high wattage light, LED still and my phone. So now if we plug this back in, one of the cooler features to this is how fast this internal charger is. This thing is fast. So let's go ahead and flip it up this way. So if you look right now, it's currently charging at 224 watts. So right now it's pushing at 225 watts. It might be because the battery is a little bit higher. Earlier I saw this at over 300 watts internally. 
There is a fan running inside. It's very quiet. And so far, I like it. Now, obviously, one thing that's really gonna determine the usefulness of a product like this is long-term testing. Well, this one is going to get put in long-term testing along with a lot of my other ones. You guys don't see them every day, but I try to use one of my power banks every single day for one thing or another. This one's gonna be a great power backup for my saltwater fish tank I'm setting up. Maybe we'll do a video on that sometime, a little behind the scenes kind of episode. So power to performance wise, this is night and day above the Banggood one that we reviewed a while back. Uh, I actually sold it. I mean, it was a useful little unit, but with the solar panel, you're talking a hundred extra dollars for this one. This is quality above and beyond what you're gonna get off of a site like Banggood or Timu. That is for sure. I'd really like to check out some of All Power's other units. Uh, fit and finish of this, quality wise, rubber covers, gaskets, 12 volt, just the overall setup, I like it a lot. I really like that it has the app function, the wireless charging, the quick switch for the light. I know it's simple, but I like it. Plus, if you have the DC side hooked up to a light, you can do the same thing with that as well. They did send this over to me and I appreciate it. If you guys wanna check this out, I'm gonna throw a couple links down below along with an Amazon link and a link directly to their website. If you guys want me to check out more products from these guys, let me know. I'm very impressed for the price. This is a $300 package with a solar panel. That's kind of hitting up there with the five and $600 units. Now, of course, at that price, there's a reason. This is 300 watt hours. This is not a giant 600,000 watt hour battery bank. It's rated for 600 watts and 1200 peak surge. But overall, I feel like it's a pretty solid unit for the price. I love that it has the app. I like that it has the built-in power station. No external giant brick to carry with you. Very compact, like PO4, which is the standard for any decent quality battery pack these days. Now, negatives overall, my biggest negative is that their instruction manual didn't show you how to properly use Bluetooth. So, I showed you here in this video. So if you found any of this video helpful, make sure to let me know down below. Throw me a like, a subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.